Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am chilling in my comfy clothes. I got my leggings on and my hair up in a bun and no makeup because I am going to do a chill, laid back home decor tour. I figured I've done voiceovers in the past and kind of real formal um, home decor tours, but to get in the spirit of the season and just be cozy and comfy, I figured I would just invite you into our home as if you were a guest and give you the grand tour of all of our home decor for Christmas 2020. So if you guys are new here, my name is Crystal, my husband's name is Corey, and we have three-year-old twin boys named Cooper and Sawyer, and we have a three-month-old named Oliver who we just welcomed in August, and he is a dream. And we create lifestyle vlogs, um, home decor vlogs, um, anything along the lines of that. We do some family vlogging. Um, kind of all that content. So if you would like that type of content, make sure you click the subscribe button um, before you leave today. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. It does help us out a lot. So without further ado, let's get into the Christmas decor for 2020. <music> It's getting dark out, so I just thought I'd show you the porch decor really quick. And we live on a main road, so there's going to be cars going back and forth, so don't mind that. But I have this faux tree from Hobby Lobby, as well as this little lantern. And it's sitting on a wooden crate. All of this is from Hobby Lobby. And then over here is our little mat from Walmart. Red truck and Christmas trees is my winter aesthetic i absolutely love it so i have that and then fossa is licking the window back up fuss and then up here we just have a little ornament sign that has the red truck and the christmas tree and that is from walmart last year so let's go inside and look at the rest of the decor okay we are going to head up the stairs and when we get to the top, we have this closet. And on the knob, I have a little banner. It says, Merriest Place on Earth with Minnie Mouse. And on the other side, it says, Joy to the World. And I thought that was super cute. And that is from the Disney Store. I actually got that two years ago. I don't remember but I absolutely love it. And then for the first time, I decided I was going to decorate the twins' room and it may not look like nothing right now, but I had a lot of extra decor uh, that I didn't use downstairs, so I decided to put it in their room and they were really happy and excited about it. So on their dresser, I just have this little setup here and I am out of breath walking up the stairs. I am so out of shape, but I have this cute little present and little tree. This is actually an ornament, but again, I took the um, string off of it and set it up like this. And all of this stuff right here is from Hobby Lobby. So I thought that was a super cute setup for here. And we have this cute Santa sign right here. This is also from Hobby Lobby. And then going over to where the, or the hatch machine is, is we have these little elves also from Hobby Lobby. I use this as a way to tell the boys that Santa is watching and these little elves report back to Santa and they protect them during the night. So um, I absolutely love that. So that's kind of their setup up here. Now, while the boys are watching Blippi, I'll show you guys the kitchen. So we do a gingerbread theme in here. So I have this gingerbread sign that is from Hobby Lobby. And I think it is super cute with the cookie cutter gingerbread men on there and I just absolutely love it. 
And then on the table, I have a Ray Dunn cake stand that says Merry Christmas on it. And it was kind of a spur of the moment buy. And once I got home, I did not know where I was gonna put it. So it ended up on our kitchen table. So that's where that is. And then over here, just hanging on the door, we just have a, it's a hot chocolate kind of day sign. Um, this was on my little um, plate last year and I had nowhere else to put it, so this is kind of where it ended up because I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just put it there. And then going over to this side, I'm actually gonna turn on this overhead light so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I have my diffuser. The diffuser was on the table and whatnot, but I have to clean it out and I'm gonna put some Christmas Spirit Young Living essential oil in it, so that's kind of just chilling there for right now. But I have this drying mat which is super cute and it is from Hobby Lobby. And then this was a last minute buy. I could not pass it up because it was so darn cute. It was from Kroger and it's just a little gingerbread Christmas tree and I think it is super adorable. And then the sign is from Hobby Lobby. I feel like that TikTok. Thanks, I got it from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, but then I also have this cute little gingerbread guy with his hot cocoa and his little marshmallows and his candy cane. And I think he is just absolutely adorable. And then moving up this way, we have another little red truck with a Christmas tree cookie, a gingerbread cookie and a candy cane. And that is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then moving down to over here, I'm trying to get it to where I don't have my shadow, um, but that Merry Christmas mug is from Dollar General. And then um, both of the gingerbread people, the red truck and the Christmas tree, those are actually salt and pepper shakers. And I make it a habit to always look at the salt and pepper shakers because they make great accents to certain places. Like this little area is super cute. So. The um, salt and pepper shakers, all, all of them are from Hobby Lobby. So we have that. And then sitting over here by the Keurig is a little cup and that was from Hobby Lobby last year. So I just have that sitting on the Keurig. And then up above the garbage, I just have this Christmas blend hot cocoa sign. That is from Hobby Lobby as well. I got that last year. And then coming over to the stove, I kind of have an array of stuff over here, but still sticking with the gingerbread theme. Um, I have my oven mitts. Of course, we're a Disney family, so gotta add the Disney oven mitts to it. Those are from Home Goods. And then we have this Cookies for Santa plate and little cup. And those are from Disney. My aunt actually got for the got that for the boys a couple of years ago, I believe. So we put that out um, every year as well. And then I can't have a gingerbread theme without our spice gingerbread candle from Bath and Body Works. And then just a Santa towel up there. And then one of my favorite tear trays. It took me forever to do this one and I'm actually gonna have a separate video on how I styled this one because it was definitely a hard one for me to style. It looks easy, but it definitely was not. So I'm gonna have another video um, about that and it might be up before this one so I'll have a link in the cards but I absolutely love the cute little gingerbread guys. And then up above the microwave, I have these little wooden Mickey and Minnie gingerbread um, men. And the gingerbread bowl is from Home Goods last year. That is another Ray Dunn piece. And then I added that striped towel in the middle just to add a little bit of color to it. But I love the way that that looks up there. And I just love the way that the kitchen looks don't mind the garbage on there <laughs> but i just absolutely love the way that the kitchen turned out 
So this is our little like office sl slash play area, if you will. Um, so I don't have that much decor in it, um, but just enough to where it didn't look weird with the decor in the actual living room. So on our shoe shelf, I have two little snowmen. This little guy I believe is from Hobby Lobby last year. And this little guy is from Bass Pro last year. And this is actually something that a friend made for my grandma. And it's another one of those pieces that I decided I wanted to keep when she passed away. And I love it. It has the snowman bow on the top as well as this cute little snowman back here. He is absolutely adorable and it says let it snow. And this little guy lights up, but he's out of batteries. So that is why he is just chilling there. But I love the little shoe shelf. And then over on this side, just hanging here, I have a um, countdown calendar. It's a little Santa Claus that we got from uh, Bronner's last year. Was it last year? Oh gosh, it was like two years ago, I think. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember. But we got this at Bronner's and it didn't come with a little like tracker. So we used a little mini glitter ornament as the tracker. So we already switched that for today. And then moving along to this side, this is Corey's little like desk area. And on top, we have a little nativity scene that I absolutely love. That was my grandma's as well. And this little cal countdown calendar uh, was from Hobby Lobby last year. I believe they still have it this year as well. Um, but I just have it hanging here. I thought it went well with the nativity scene there. So we have that. And then down here, we have a dashing through the snow sign. That is from Kroger from last year. I believe that's from Kroger. Let me just double check. Oh, no. It's actually from the Target dollar spot from last year. Um, and then I have this wine bottle lamp um, that I got as a teacher gift last year um, from one of my preschool students. So that is that. And then over by the boys' toy area, I have a Mickey Mouse popcorn bucket. That is from Disney. Um, dreaming of a white Christmas sign. This is from Home Goods. I believe I got that last year. And then little Olaf because the boys are obsessed with Frozen. So I figured that would go good in their toy area. And now on to my favorite part of the house. And if this isn't aesthetically pleasing, I don't know what is. We have the cute dog on the couch, the faux fireplace going on the TV, and the beautiful Christmas tree lit in the corner. Okay, so we just have this snowman blanket with a little Mickey Mouse club hat. Super cute, and I thought it matched the snowman aesthetic that I kind of have going on that side of the room. And then coming over to this side, we just have our TV stand, which is from Hobby Lobby. And I kind of decided to make this our Disney themed um, area. So I have our Disney countdown that is for Christmas and it has Mickey and Minnie and I love the traditional red and green theme. I absolutely love it. And then along the back, I just have a small string of lights to kind of highlight these super cute um, ornaments that we've kind of made a tradition to um, buy every year. And so we started out with 2015 and we have bought one every single year. I still have to get my 2020 ornament, but that will be done when I do my Christmas shopping. And then my most favorite piece, I think of decor, is my Disney red truck with the Christmas tree. I am obsessed with the red truck theme and 
of course we're a Disney family so I absolutely love this and it's got Minnie and Mickey and Goofy and Chip and Dale and Donald and I just absolutely love it so I thought it went super well on there and then down here um, I have our remotes just in this little Santa tin that I got from, I believe it was from the dollar store, honestly. And then this Mickey-shaped bell, which I believe that is also from Disney because it was my grandma's. And like I said, we are a Disney family, so I can guarantee it was from Disney at one point. Um, and then we have Mickey and Minnie just chilling on the shelf there. Minnie's a, she's a little uh, drunk over there. <laughs> but I absolutely love those and those are from Disney as well. And then down at the bottom, we have these cute picture frames that the boys made back in 2018. And it has their pictures from that year as well. And I just, ugh. I love looking back at these. I miss them being so little, but now we have Ollie, so I get to relive that. But yeah, so that is that part. And then another overview of the entire thing. And then moving over to this side, we just have this Santa stop here sign. That is from, oh gosh, I think that's from Michaels. And I got that last year I believe and it was supposed to go on our porch but we get a lot of snow sometimes and I just didn't want it to get ruined so I just ended up putting it right here by the tree and then this is our beautiful tree this year it has some lights out but I think this is going to be the last year for this tree anyways because it was my grandparents tree and it has seen it's days and so I think next year we're gonna go with a real tree so but we have this and then we Corey and I have always grown up with on our tree we always had like fun family ornaments and like traditional ornaments instead of making it like a bougie tree with all of the fancy ornaments we just like to make it a family tree and each year um, we get the boys a new ornament. And so this one was two years ago with little Woody. And I always put the date. Um, I always put the year, if it'll focus. Focus, maybe, there we go. I always put the year and their name on it. So we have that one, and then this one's Ollie's this year, baby's first, and I absolutely love it. And so yeah, so we just kind of make our tree full of family ornaments and just, just fun ornaments for us. And then over on this side, this is where I keep the boys' diapers and wipes and all that stuff in those gray bins. And so I like to just jazz this up a little bit. So we do have my red truck themed, um, it's kind of like a rustic farmhouse themed tiered tray. And then cute little Santa and snowmen there. The snowmen are from Hobby Lobby last year and the Santa was one that my grandma had in her collection. And of course we have the amazing marshmallow fireside candle burning cause it just smells so good. So that is the top of that. And I am planning on doing a tiered tray video. It's probably up before this one. So I will have that linked in the cards uh, above and you guys can see how I put it together and where I got all of the um, pieces for the tear tray from. So that is that. And then down here, we just have this, we wish you a Merry Christmas sign from Hobby Lobby that I absolutely love. And then down here, we have a Believe sign from Home Goods. That's the Ray Dunn collection. And a little Santa hat that was an ornament um, from Hobby Lobby, but I took the string off and decided to just set it up there. So we have that. 
And then over here, we just have my little ottoman corner. I just put a, a white blanket down and put a red fleece blanket on top of that and put my jingle pillow that it's from Hobby Lobby, another Ray Dunn piece. Um, that Christmas tree pillow is one that my grandma had in her collection and I don't even remember where this Noel pillow went. It actually went in a set with that red blanket and I have no idea. It was probably from Walmart, but that was like one of the first decor pieces we had when we lived in California. So yeah, it's been around for a while. <laughs> but on top of the shelf is our Believe in the Magic of Christmas sign. That's from Hobby Lobby as well as the Ho 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 sign. And the little vintage Santa Mickey. I think he is so cute. And an, it was another um, decor piece that was in my grandma's collection that I absolutely will treasure forever. Um, but then the last thing in my living room is our red truck Christmas countdown. You move the little snowflake to whatever day it is. So today's the 20 or 23 days till Christmas. So, um, I have it on the number 23 and I got that from Dollar General. And then we have this cute little lantern that's got the evergreen tree on it. And I have no idea where I got that from. I think it was from Walmart. But again, that was another decor piece that I got the first year that we were married and we lived in California. And this is another cute decor piece from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was super adorable and it matched my red truck theme for over here. So then we got a little cute puppy hanging out over here on the couch. And this blanket is from Walmart. Again, the red trees, the more farmhouse vibe to it, and it is actually super comfortable. So that is everything in my living room. This is our bedroom. And I went with the buffalo check and kind of, again, farmhouse rustic theme in here. Over here in my little side cart, I have this Believe sign. I got it a few years ago, so I don't remember exactly where it's from. Um, but another one of those um, little bottle brush trees that is from Kroger. Um, and a little wine bottle with Santa on it with the lights in it. I won that at a baby shower like several years ago. And it is to this day one of Corey's favorite decor pieces that we have. So I have that on the side um, cart. And then I don't have any Christmas pillows in here. Um, because we're not really in here all that much. Um, so I just have a Ray Dawn Sweet Dreams pillow. And then over here on Corey's side table, I have this little piece um, figure set that I believe his mom got us one year for Christmas. So he loves it, I love it. I just did not know where I was going to put it. And this just seemed like the best place for it. And you can't really tell, there we go. Cause it's the P is blending in with the football helmet. but. I love that. And then Fasa moved from the couch to the bed. And then over here, we just have the stack of presents and the Tis the Season candle. I absolutely love that candle. And I thought it went well with the rest of the decor. And these two bells. And with this Merry Christmas y'all sign. Now, if y'all know, I say y'all a lot and I get made fun of a lot for it by my family. So um, I felt like this sign was made for me, which was awesome. And then this Buffalo plaid truck with the Christmas tree in the back and the little snowman with his little Buffalo plaid scarf. So I figured all of this Fit nicely and all of it is from Hobby Lobby except for the candle of course that's from Bath and Body Works but that is all.
And then we have a little bit of decor in the bathroom, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of a festive touch. Do not mind this and do not mind this. We have to get outlet covers for it. I know it is not the safest, but um, this whole bathroom got repainted and it's just taken us a while to get new covers for both the light switch and the outlet. So just don't mind that. <laughs> but this little Believe cup is from Home Goods. What is on that? Oh my Lanta. Um, it's from Home Goods and it's a Radon. I love Radon. So I love that. And then over here, it's just a hand soap. Um, it's an apple hand soap from Walmart just because I wanted the red to match the aesthetic in here. And then up here are two bottle brush trees from the Target Dollar Spot. And this North Pole sign that is a Ray Dunn piece from Home Goods, as well as the Ho 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 towel from Home Goods as well. And then I just added a fresh spiced apple spray and a cute little Santa mug right there. So we have that. And then I do plan on changing the shower curtain out to a red one, but for some reason I cannot find any red ones anywhere. So we just gotta stick with the blue one for now. But that is my minimal decor in the bathroom. So that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it and make sure you subscribe before you leave to see more of our uh, holiday festive um, activities and videos. And make sure you comment what your favorite decor piece that you have is down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,